At some point in the future, you may find yourself in front of a plate, and on that plate will be a beautiful sandwich. And you may tell yourself, this is not my beautiful sandwich, but it in fact will be your beautiful sandwich. And this is how that will happen. A sandwich is a sacred thing. You'll need some important tools to make one. A pair of scissors. A fork. Sporks will also work. And you will also need a can opener. As far as ingredients go, we have bread, mustard, honey mustard to be more specific, banana pepper rings, and square meat. We also have cheese. The key to making a pretty good sandwich is always more ingredients. That's where our bonus ingredients will come in later. To begin with, we will have to slice of bread. To begin with, you should ensure that you have a plate and a sanitary environment, which are two things that I have right here. You also need a slice of bread. Let's start with some square meat slices. Leave the square meat from its plastic shell and place it upon the piece of bread, like so. You can do it again if you would like. It's, well, it might be fun for you. It's kind of a gross texture that I don't enjoy touching, but if you enjoy it, you could add another slice. Next, you will need mustard. Honey mustard, to be exact. Next, you will need mustard, yellow mustard this time. Next, you will need mustard again, this time. It's Dijon. Ooh. Let's go back to the square meat slices. Next you will need smart and simple sandwich slices, American limitation pack, dress, processed cheese food, 16 individually wrapped slices. Consumption of the product in question may result in death. This is where your scissors come in. Really, you can use them however you want. With the scissors, I just open and close them all willy-nilly. You can take the cheese with or without the shell, whatever you prefer. Next, you will grab some banana pepper rings. Grab your fork, and a little goes a long way, just one. Um, your, your fork can go anywhere, I guess. Let's hit it with some more mustard. Like honey mustard, yellow mustard, and... Dijon mustard. Incredible. It looks like it's time for some bonus ingredients. For one, I have Spam. There's something on the top. And pull it down and then pull it up. Oh. That doesn't smell very good. Oh, I guess if you squeeze it from the sides, it dislodges itself from its metal casing. To dislodge it, you'll need to be very vigorous. 
delicious. We want to make sure that the span is on its side so that you can fit it into the sandwich. It's time for another bonus ingredient. This time, can of beans. This is where your can opener comes in. You could also use an electric one. But they're loud and scary. You want to find a good place to dispose of this lid. The sandwich will do. It's time for yet another secret ingredient. I think this time I will go with this time. This 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 time I'm going with the double A batteries. I would recommend two three kind of gets you too rowdy and that's just not a healthy life choice if you're going with a three battery sandwich every day. And that's pretty much all I have to say about that. You're probably wondering why I haven't used the beans yet, despite having opened them. That's because the batteries needed to be in place before. I gave it just a little bit of bean goodness. Delicious. Now, it's lacking a little bit of moisture, so just get some generic Windex. Spray it like so. Let's revisit the bread. The bread is the most important ingredient after all. We'll go with one slice on top. And then we want to clean up the edges a little bit. And Prepare yourself another piece of bread. Stick it on the side. By now, you might realize that we're going with my signature six-sided sandwich, the square of sandwich goodness. The sandwich square is almost ready now. But we will need a few more details, like toothpicks. You may want your scissors again. Remember, just open them all willy nilly. Right? And there you go. Plop a few in there. Make one on the top. But we're not done yet. Someone might mistake your sandwich for their sandwich. So we need to take care of that. Just write your name on the top, legibly, with a sharpie. See? Now nobody will get it confused. Now it's time to eat your sandwich. Don't be ridiculous. Eating your sandwich would be immoral, not to mention a superfluous detail. Particularly when taking into account we haven't added the most important ingredient, some basil garnish. Any leaf like food will do. As you've just experienced, the key to making a good sandwich is always more. Whether that's more ingredients or more love, you'll need to remember to have a clean environment, have your tools at the ready, and have some pretty cool ingredients. Where before, there was no sandwich, there is now a sandwich. And where once there were ingredients, there's nothing at all. 
like stars imploding and exploding, and planets colliding to create something new. The cycle of life continues. For every death there is a birth, and for every yin there there is a yin. Something to think about.